Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. And I'm James Workshop and I'm over here. And together we are Modeling for Advantage. So today then James, Mortal Gods. Mortal Gods. I spent all weekend looking at videos of Greek men preparing for battle. Unrelated. Unrelated, all oily and stuff. <laughs> Mate, this is this is the first time. It what, is. What, 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 do you want to do a little bit of the close cam and show these beautiful people why your men are going to beat me because you've got shields and I haven't? That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's a very fair point. Okay, so what we have here is two forces. Yours are referencing what force is yours? Carthaginians, Carthaginians. mate. Carthaginians. We are baby burners and all that evil stuff that we allegedly Okey did. Okie dokie. I have no shields because I'm waiting on some shields and decals. Okay. Um, I probably should have painted some gold ones and just blue tacked <laughs> them on. Which is, yeah. What but we're so stoked about getting we started. Are. 100%. So tell me what you got there. Uh, so I've got some slingers. Yep. I have got a Promachos. Okay. I have a phalanx of heavy infantry. I have my Locagos here, yeah. who's my general. And I have another set of slingers here. The slingers do have some crazy Greek name that I cannot pronounce. Okay, yeah. Well, we can't pronounce any of the names, but No. Let's... It's okay. this one. Okie dokie. <laughs> crazy Greek words. That, that's not that the words are crazy. I mean, that is entirely about my ignorance in this matter, but... Okay, so in my Locos, uh, I have two units of... In your Locos? Oh, You've got all the much. words. That's army, by the way. Yeah. Uh, experienced Hoplites, pair of them there. And then I have a pair of units of experienced Peripoloi. Uh, and then I have Toxotai, which is archers. Then I have um, a veteran hoplite on the wrong base mm. because I got excited about basing characters. And then I have my Lokagos, who is unarmored. So medium armored. This is our first attempt at this game. We're really excited about it. Um, it's like 20 models aside, mate. Isn't that yeah. beautiful? <laughs> Three by three foot board. This is not like authentic Mortal God scenery. This is my war cry scenery. <laughs> it looks good. I think it works, it doesn't fits. it? We're going to just play for four turns just to sort of get to grips with the rules, beat each other up, which is why we've got sort of a heavy phalanx in the middle mm -hmm. and a little bit of light infantry. Yeah, trying out all the rules. I think you spent more time looking at what the stats of the units with that veteran hoplite, though. So you've got some like <laughs> elite rules there. <laughs> yeah, no, I did try for veterans. I was actually just like, Athenians are veteran, right? So I'll try and take the experience, guys, as much as possible. Athenians are veterans, right? I mean, yeah. on the base. So we're going to play for four turns, see how it goes. James has got the leatherette bag. He's going to do all the drawing. One leather pouch. One leather pouch. If you've not played this game before, you roll dice until somebody wins. Excellent. Mate, let's see what happens then. Woo. So, uh, who's going first? Uh, you, sir. Excellent. Because we did the deployment thing. Oh, we did the deployment thing and then yeah. I do the first yeah. thing. <laughs> well, it was the first game. <laughs> yeah. So I have a black. I have so a black. my Lokagos, the only hero I have. So if you draw a black activate. token in this, you activate one of your heroes, in James's case, only his Lokagos or his general is that. And usually heroes have got multiple potential act actions in a turn. Yes. Uh, what I will do is one of the actions that they have available to them, mm -hmm. which is to pass off to another unit. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to take a white bead from this bag, which is here, and I'm going to use it on my single unphalanx unit of experienced Peripoloi. Who move seven of the fine comes with awesome those. rulers? They're fantastic. Haven't coloured them in yet, but we'll get there. Mate, they did say colouring. We could get the crowns on there. Go you coming at me, bro? I'm gonna go to there. And that is my turn. So we pass to your turn. Yes. So unlike bolt action, it's not like uh, the colours don't reflect whose go it is. It does alternate. So that's me. Uh, I'm going to check for range. Am I within 10 inches? I am, so I'm just going to stand still Go for it. with my slingers and shoot you twice. So the important thing is, do I choose to defend or not? I can't You've already because I've already activated. So, However, that yeah. is a mechanic in the game. Yes, so one of the things you can do um, is you can try and force somebody to have used their activation mm. actively defending. So I have three combat dice with my slingers. Yep. And uh, in a test game that we played, I rolled two repeatedly, but it is in fact hey. three. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for swords on attack. Yeah. And I get zero swords. Okay, but I won't defend them. Uh, slingers that stand still can shoot twice, but the Pegasus count as negatives on the second shots. So that is minus two hits. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. I won't defend against that. <laughs> so next, my turn. 
Come on. Hey, another one for the Lockygos. So he will himself activate this time. Uh, mm -hmm. Moving his seven inches because he is light. The Lokagos. So two, three. Any failings of pronunciation in Greek is because we are uneducated fools. James reckons if you tell him how to do it, he'll try. Yeah. I'm not making such a strong claim. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Nice and quick, this. It's going fast. Um, so, again, one of the mechanics of this game, the phalanx units that we've each got, and you'll notice that there's a Mexican standoff going <laughs> on there, is this is one unit with one activation currently. Oh man. Oh, Doom. Is that mine? It is. It's your Doom. Let doom. me get the Doom deck. The Doom deck. So these are called Omens. Yep. Um, among other things, it's kind of missing a go. Yeah. But these are often negative for you as well as the enemy. Uh, the Blood Red Moon. I mean, I'm not excited about this. Uh, a deep red moon looms over the battlefield. Surely we're fighting during the day. Man. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, so that's even more creepy. When called upon to make a courage roll, any warriors from either Locos will automatically pass, but take damage. Ooh. 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 Oh, I like that. Okay, that was my turn. That was your turn. The turn will end if all three of the Doom tokens are pulled out. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to move seven inches. Chung, 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 chung. I'm going to move this way to here. So bows can only shoot if they move three inches on. I need to take a bead for me to do that. Don't I? I don't oh, actually pull a bead. He actually pull a bead. <laughs> it could have been a black one. The moment. It was a black one. That's your turn and that's your black bead. Is that what's happening here? I, I'm losing track no, of No, you got the on. doom. So I got the doom, so now it's your turn. Thank so you, you very much, that. Sir. So yeah, no, I've got that one, so I need to activate my locket goss. Um, you can order then. I'm thinking about it. That's probably a good idea. Or you can run forward with your... With your your locker gods, as much as being your general, is also yeah. quite a powerful hero yeah. in this game. Uh, so I don't want him to be the closest thing to you for charging reasons. Yeah, and there's a lot of issues around yeah. you have to charge so the I nearest model that. stuff. So, I will. so you are doing that. Yeah, I will. So I need to pull the white token out of this bag. And, and you're doing it. that because you've transferred the action from there to there. Yeah. Which costs them both. So now it's my turn. It is. Or my draw. Your draw. And your draw is white. White. Are you within 10? No. So I can move and shoot just the once. I think I shall do that. So I will move my skirmishing dude bros up here. Mm -hmm. And I will pelt your filthy bowmen with slings. Getting nothing. <laughs> what a game. Yay. So then it's my turn. Mm -hmm. We have got uh, white. Come on, come on! So... <laughs> the, the way that, that movement distances work, by the way, whichever full moves forwards first is the one that's going to receive the charge. <laughs> that's that's uh, kind of what's I will activate my phalanx. Are you doing it, Brian? Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. I'm doing it. But I won't move him very far. I'm going to move up to here. So you'll have a bit of a charge, but... Mate, we'll I, think that, I think that that's, that's all but guaranteed if you do that. Six plus about four, three, nine that's, inches away. That's eight. Hey, yeah, I'll go a bit further back. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So when you charge, you move your base movement, which in the case of our heavy that is six, mm -hmm. and then you get to add a d6 to it. Okay. All right. Off we go. Let's do it. Next token, we have black. <gasps> Ooh. Hero. Heroes. I think my guy here is going to move my Promakos, and he's got a six inch move, so he's gonna to move to here. He has two actions. Okay. Uh, making an appearance as Hannibal's veteran. Johnny B painted the, uh, the, shield. The, the, the shield. Yeah, that's not okay. a decal, that is a legit Johnny wow, B hour of his life, hand nice. painted, yeah. So I have a uh, black bead. Um, yep. And I've used all three. Black Yay! Beans, so free! I that to you for free. Right. I like that. So I'm going to use that on my Lokagos, mm -hmm. and he's going to order my Phalanx to charge. Okay. So I'll so you take a white bead out for that. So it was eight. What well, happens when you charge is you, you automatically succeed if you're under your movement, which is six. If not, you roll a dice. Yep. Automatic failure. On a one, you always fail. <laughs> um, and when you fail, you actually move a d6 inches, four. which in this case would be four. Beautiful. They have stumbled. And I'm saying this with so much certainty, but there's every chance that I am talking complete nonsense. Because <laughs> we've played this game for an hour before doing this video. Yeah. Uh, it feels so, right. <laughs> it, mate, 
That's what I'm after. Feels right. Good feel. That's what she told me. <laughs> so we've got. So this is me now. No, it's me. It's you now. Yeah, I had to give that to you. You so did. You've got a white. I've got a white. Which you then give to me because you've used all your. Because I've used all my whites, so I then give that to you. Good trade. Let's do this me. again next time. Yes. So I've got six inches. Be a veteran hoplite. Be a veteran hoplite. Okay. So now it's your turn. It is my turn. So all that's left in this bag is red and black, I think. Red it is. <gasps> this is your doom. It is my doom. My doom is the cries of crows. The raucous cawing of crows gives the men pause. Mm. The warrior There's a red moon there, mate, in the middle of the day. <laughs> We're already worried about what's going on. <laughs> now there's a crow. The warrior assigned to this omen must pass a courage roll to activate while this omen is in play. Assigned to a single or group of warriors. So I'm going to give this to... Well, if you give that to my guy who's the only guy I can activate, every yeah. time he makes a courage roll, does he take a point of damage? Nice. But he automatically passes. Yeah, lock a goss, please. <laughs> is, that, is that how that's... Let's just check the interaction of those two cards. Please do. Um, must pass a courage roll to activate while this omen is in play. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, when it's called upon to make a courage roll, will automatically pass but take a point of damage. So each time he activates now, he yep. takes a point of damage. Boo! So you're hoping for... You've rigged it, mate. Red one. Come on. An omen just, just to get this over just with. Just do it. That's black. <sighs> Can you not still use your uh, Promarkos? He has yeah. two activations. Yeah, he's got one left. Yeah. I think he wants to just like run up and just headbutt somebody. I'll take it. The closest thing for you to headbutt is my entire phalanx. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh. They're pretty equidistant, so I'll let you choose. No, them. I'm going to activate him, so he's going to take a wound. Nice. And he's going to move six. Cool. Boo! So this is my turn now, in yeah. theory. Black. That's for me. That's for you. So he's got one more, he's got two more potential actions. Which this is also two more potential wounds. This one, why have I put two on there? He's only moved the you one. You just put it on the wrong card. I put it on the wrong yep. card because I'm an Egypt. So this guy could charge the phalanx. He could. He's got plenty of dice, let's be honest. I think he's going to charge. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. He's gonna, uh, well, which one is nearer? So how close is that? So this is uh, just under seven inches. Oh, this is just over seven inches. So it's going to have to be the phalanx. Yeah. So we're charging. Brace yourselves. I'm Hop. <laughs> oh no! Moves, stumbles, moves D6. Five, Five inches. Wow, that's a hell of a way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. That was him. Yep. Next draw. And that's his last uh, activation. So there's only the two team. left of him. And there. Uh, yeah, one there and one for the red. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> right, so I get another wound for that. You certainly do, sir. Me, you did nickel and then diamond, mate. Okay, I'm going to charge these idiots. Okay. Uh, is it Roll your D6. Is it under six? Oh, no, that's seven, isn't it? Come on, man. Uh, that's, no, come on, man. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, that is six. That's fine. Go straight in. Let's do it. Rah! Let's yeah. show these men how you fight. So my heavily wounded Logagos has got five combat dice. Mm -hmm. So I roll five of the mortal gods dice. Excellent. Look at the swords. And I have blue Pegasus on this. Yep. So that's pretty good. Oh, that is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yeah. And you are medium, medium. hoplites. So, I so get two, one. Isn't it? Or oh, one. One, okay. two for heavy. I don't block anything. You don't block any. So that's one to six. So I'm going to now roll six damage dice. <gasps> oh, no. This could be good. It could be. Six damage dice. Hop. And that, that is. That was pretty good. No. No. It's not. Three. It's just three. That's a whole model. Three. Kills a model. Yep. So that that was. Uh, does that mean every action has taken place? So when the third omen is drawn, the turn ends. Well, that was reasonably unlikely. That was. <laughs> so uh, let's roll on over into round two. So here we are with round two. What's it looking like, James? So round two, we're pretty much just. Uh, Facing down each other at the moment. I've red, lost one. The first model. action is going to be a big deal here. It is, yeah. So first action um, is me though, because I drew the last red oh, token. Boom. Is that how this game works? Let's get all the junk back in the bag, James. <laughs> You're not even ready, mate. No, it's, I'm not. Come on, you rookie. Yeah, where's yours? <laughs> oh, they're over there. <laughs> oh, I did. Did do that wrong. 
So that's my glass beads. This is your glass beads over here. Nothing's changed, so everything stays the same. Everything stays the same. There is a housekeeping round between the rounds. There is, um, which we should have done at the end of the previous round rather than just now. However. I can't help but be sitting a finger in this, you know, stick. <laughs> So the first one is yours, yeah, as you say. Nice. So let's see it, James. Okie dokie. So I'm going to check this distance. I will have to shunt one of your fellas out of the way to do this, though. So I... That is an automatic charge, though. I am six inches away. Well, you see, the thing is... Yeah. That's not the nearest model. That's very true. There's many, many more uh, nearer uh, models. Uh. Okay, so... I, let's find out what I'm doing first. Doom! Doom! All right. Yes! <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So they go back on the bottom of the deck as well. Yes, they do. I have Pythia's Guidance. For enough coin, the omens shall follow your will. Boo! Pick no, an omen from the next three cards in the deck. Hmm? And place remaining cards chosen back in any order. You must activate the chosen omen. Right, so draw the top three, put yep. one into play. Yeah. And put the other two back in the order you prefer. On top. <sighs> this is all a bit pro, this. James plays magic so he understands this. Uh, a little bit, yeah. So, if your opponent is called Michael, you win. Ah, oh, right. I'll draw that one. I'll have that one. Okay, I'm going to use this one now, and I'm going to put these two back on top in that order. All right. And then that goes. Uh, on now you're bottom. not falling into the trap of believing that the next one is going to happen to me, have you? No. Cool. No, uh, you know, that's fine. So what's what's this? So this is confused omen. <laughs> Tell me about it. The omens are difficult to read, causing the Lakagos to stall. The next hero action marker you draw is assigned to a hero but ignored. They cannot take an action using it. I assign it to a hero. I will assign it to your Lakagos. The next hero action marker you draw is assigned to a hero but ignored. Yep. So you assign it to a hero and then that action doesn't happen. Yep. yep. Okay, so you put it on my Lakagos. So, so the next time I draw a hero marker, it, it goes on him and it's wasted. Yes. So Boo. This is for you. I'm hoping it's a hero. No, it's another omen. It's another <laughs> omen. But you know what it is. I do know what it is. Uh, fighting in the shade. Oh, that sounds nice. It's nice. Um, the warrior assigned this omen removes one damage point. Well, I've only got one omen with one damage point, so I'll do it on that one. Yep. That's it. Uh, interestingly, it says affects all warriors. Cool. No, no other warriors on the table have a damage point. No. I think you just, you, any warrior can have it, one wound it, it could, it, yeah, 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 it must be that, it must be that. I've still got that other one, that confused omen, so right. then it's my turn again. Yes. <laughs> red, red, red. No. no. Black, so my Locky Ross. So I'm going to activate my Locky Ross and he's going to charge. Yay, I'm going to do for you. So we've got some uh, Locky Ross on Primarchos action. Mm -hmm. So five of the finest dice. Five, five of the finest dice. <laughs> With uh, Pegasus is good for Pegasus look. is good for me. That's so five altogether. So my guy. You choose to defend before I do this. I do. Excellent. Because I don't want him to get chewed up. So I've got four defense dice. Pegasus is good. Pegasus is good. And I get only the one, one shield. Oh, I think I might be dead here. So I've got that's four damage, isn't it? So I got four dice. If you did four damage, yeah. you got four dice. I got yeah. five minus one. So yeah. yeah. Oh, Pegasus is not good, so just two. Just two? I've only got four wounds. That's cool. And then I'm driven back. You are driven back. Okay, uh, yep. now it's my draw. Yeah. Let's guess some omens going on, shall we? Get some omens, it'll be end of oh, turn, mate. Let's do it. Ah, uh, white. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could do with the pants things, or I could do the business end. Go on, business it. Or business the, this it. is the closest enemy unit. And my models are in a way, isn't they it? <laughs> Not liking the sound of that. Oh, boo. Yeah, that's a bit funny, isn't it? Because that's about the nuance of the game. Yeah, a little bit. Interesting. Um, so what we're, what we're, what we're going to do, these, rather than being able to charge straight forward at the enemy phalanx, I think they have to charge this because he's a nearer model. Mm -hmm. No, they can Unless pass a courage, a courage test. test. I'm going to make ah. a courage test. That sounds like a good idea. Cool. Uh, so I've got three courage dice, and I need one success. And there there's is. a success. Right, so I get to charge them. Mm -hmm. So now I get to make my charge roll, yep. which is a three. So we're in. You're in. So you have to move one of your own models out of the way. I have to push him out of the way, yep. which is going to give me minus one attack. It is. But that's okay, because we're very, very powerful. 
we are powerful Ow. and he's going to get moved out of the way so yep. there's a little bit of that takes place in this game by knocking people out of the way so in combat mode my heavy phalanx has four dice mm -hmm. it gains an extra attack dice for my low cargo and an extra attack dice for my pro machos but i lose one because i charge through one of my own units yes yeah. So that's and that is a measly two. two. Okay, so I have four armor. I don't have to choose to defend because they are uh, heavy phalanx or they're phalanx. That is correct. Attained. Yeah. Uh, I stop none of them. So that's two damage that's two dice. Damage. Yeah. So that's that is one damage. A damage. That's perfectly fine. I shall. But that is enough to dice. drive you back, sir. Yep. Yeah. One damage dice. One short drive. There we go. Brum brum. That, there we go. Back there to my turn. Go. Back to your turn. White. I wonder what you're going to do. Uh, uh, activate my heavy phalanx. Mm -hmm. No, because they've already activated. I can consider something else to make you defend. Who's already activated? This unit has yeah. done its activation. Oh, so right. now they're not a threat to me anymore. And right. I have to consider other threats. The end of the turn might be a threat to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the turn. Yeah. A any minute now. Um, okay, well, they can't attack, so... Uh, yeah, I'll use them. Screw it. Yeah, that is a fellow... It's, it's an idea. It's an idea. There's a consideration for other things. It's definitely what I would do. Yeah. Uh, again. So they have four as standard, and I get plus one for my uh, Locker Goss. Yeah. So that is four. And I get four defense, so the, one of the, the big advantage for being in the phalanx is you always get your active defense to the front, mm -hmm. which normally would cost you your action. And that is a fat zero, okay. sir. So four dice. Ugh. Could be good, could be nothing. Uh, that's three, three. damage. That's that is more. a... Oh, kill the dude, bro. And you have a short drive. And then I have a mini pushback. There we go. Okay. Yep. All right. Your turn. Yes. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey! No! Turn over. So don't even get the over. It's all over. Yes. Right, so the confused omen goes to the bottom of the deck. Yeah. And then clean up. And then we did the clean up thing, yeah. Housekeeping. Right. We'll be back. Right, here we are, back from round three. Let's have a look at the close cam then, Mr. James. Halfway through the game, mate. Certainly are. Certainly are. Yep. You can do some proper decisive action, isn't it? So, still jammed up in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got your slingers back there who didn't get to activate last turn. That's I don't the think they've done. No, they, they did a bit of shooting in the first yeah, turn, didn't they? They did in the first yeah. turn. Nothing happened over here. We've, we've got a Greek standoff going off over here. A Greek standoff <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> oh no, that's a different kind of stuff. So, you got the last red one last turn. I think I was drawing for you. Wasn't I believe it? you. Okay, cool. Let's do it. I love you, James. You Thanks. wouldn't you wouldn't hurt me. Black. For you. Right. So I can activate my locker goss. Yeah. Get in and start doing some please, things. Please do. So he's got five combat dice. He's just charging straight at this unit. Of yep, the nearest one. Stab. Go for it. Hup. I will defend. That is five. Okay. So they have three defense dice. Three. They're, oh, these are the naked ones. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I get one. You get one. So I have four because they're the, the twin blades. Yeah, so now I'm rolling for damage, looking for blades for success. And I get one. one. Could have been better. Could have been better. But we do push you back. You do. Oop. And oop. One of them. One of them. Okay, my Nothing. turn. Your draw, sir. Yep. So it is white. <sighs> it's a white one. That's important. Let's do that then. I'll Can get we... my four dice ready. Please do. <laughs> Jam time. Okay, here we go. So they got five dice. Yeah. Now James has got lighter armored hoplites, but they're experienced, so you yep. get Pegasi count successes, I think. They do that six. Six. And I get four defense dice for being a what's it. Yep. Two of them. Two of them. I don't feel good about this, James. I don't feel okay. good about this. That is three damage. Three damage is going to kill another dude, bro. Yep. 
Which turns that into a single which model unit. turns that into a single model, but I no longer have a phalanx. And breaks the phalanx, yeah. Breaks it up, mate. Okay. And these are all driven back an inch. They are. So, yeah. That now means that there's extra... But at the end, in the housekeeping, I think that that will yeah. happen. Yeah. So, we have a red. <gasps> That's for me. Yeah. And that is the siren song. Only the bravest warriors can avoid the call of the siren. Whenever one of your companions activates, it affects your companions, by the way, as in me. Mm -hmm. Whenever one of your companions activate, they must make a courage test if they fail. Your opponent must move your unit instead. Oh, boy. Well, I am Affect cursed your companions full stop. You can't yeah, that was, someone else. That was what I did in my turn. Yeah. Was bone myself <laughs> for the rest of the turn. It's white. So I'm going to activate my veteran hoplite. Your veteran hoplite, yes. Yeah who is going to move this way and then I'm going to activate this unit to charge because that is his ability. It's, but this, that unit already activated to defend. They did, didn't they? So I need to take a they, white bag out, white, white one out of here as well, don't I? That's a thing. Because they activated and I didn't take the di the. Oh, thing right, okay. Yeah. okay. So, okay, he will just activate himself then um, and, and he there. will still do that. <laughs> yeah. So now it's your turn. And now it's my turn, right? Okay. Yep. The black. There you go. So when I activate my dude bro, my Lokagos, mm -hmm. what was the thing? I must make a courage test. He's got quite a lot of courage. I only need one sword across these five though. dice. I've got a wound, so I've got four dice. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So that's my courage. So now he's active. Kill, kill, kill. So he's going to charge these yep. podly podloys. <laughs> Veteran peripoloi, yeah. Yeah, podly pod poi. Pod, podly pod pops. Podly pod pop. Hop. That's three. a mere three. But okay. you've just got your armor now. I've only got the one. one. Yeah. Which I don't get. No, so three damage dice. That is one just damage. the one. So they have a second wound on that remaining fellow. And then uh, push back an inch. There you and then we go back to the bag. And then we go back to the bag. <laughs> the game of the bag. So this it's is a game of the bag. Black. I will activate my Lokarkos because that is my only option. That is your only option. Uh, and then I will go for a charge. And you're going to you're going to kill my pro macho. Five dice. I have four defense dice. Uh, I get four. Whoa. I stopped two. Okay, but he's activated two. He's activated so one of his activations, yeah. yeah. So you need a marker. Yeah, but I think you might kill him because he's only got one hit point left and you've got two damage dice to roll. Let's find out. No. No! So I do need that black. Out of the bag, there you go. Yeah, okay, so you fall back in that instance. I do, because I failed to do damage. Because my promoters were so manly. I took it on the chin. Mate. Did. One it's big one spear on one small chin. One big spear and one small chin. Black. Right. I I, I have to believe <laughs> that my longer ghost can achieve something. Is he a warrior? Does he have to do... Courage. Courage things. Yeah, okay. yeah. But he's got... Why are on six? These keep moving over. He's only got the one damage. Four dice. Yep. Can always fail. Yes, absolutely. There's right, a sword fine. there. Okay. So he's going to charge them again. Yep. Here we go. He's going to use his five dice. And he's going to get three hits. Okay. And you've got one defense. Okay. Which is unsuccessful. Which is fail. And then three. Oh, three the nothing. Four. Nothing. It's because you didn't turn up with any shields. That's it's because it it. I mean, this guy's got two blades. He's all like wooed down. <laughs> Wah! Two really small blades. <laughs> so this is me with a white. I have a unit that is not activated. So I will do that. And they will charge. They get, defended. Get some back. They did defend. Cool. Your archers haven't My activated. My archers haven't activated. But I just took that token out of the bag. Because your archers hadn't activated, archers you just put activated. one on the wrong thing earlier. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's what's going on. Yep, cool. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're your there. archers have not yet activated. So they have three attack dice. 
so range. within half range, so Pegasi become attacks. Luckily. Do they? Yeah. What were you shooting at? Uh, the closest unit. The, the, okay, yeah. so they have a defense of two, but their skirmishes are getting extra defense dice against missiles. Yeah. And they make two successes. Okay. So that's that. So, so that's I their have one attack dice remaining. Off to two successes. Yeah. So I've got three, and they take one damage. One damage. Okay, okay. Right. Hmm, do I get to go? Do I get to go? Red. No, I get some doom. A flight of birds. The hero sound this om omen must always move towards the nearest enemy. I will apply that to your Lukaga. The only thing I can activate. <laughs> so I will play this on your Lukaga. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't think. My turn. Back. It's your Nearest Carlos. enemy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as it's, it's, it's the only thing you're going to do with him anyway. So... He still has to activate to... Yeah, defend, he's got one he? left. So he's yeah. got one left. That's actually great. And he makes three defences. Okay. Uh, he makes four defences. Four defences. Alright, well, I've got nothing left. And you get one of them. <sighs> that was for him, yeah. Okay. Oh, did you only get four hits? Yeah, I only got four hits. Right. I live! You and I you drive you back. I get driven back. Ooh. So we have got the red, the final one of the turn. But, but that was mine. That was yours. So you go first next turn. That's very important. Moving so that's into the end of turn three. Final round. Man. Bing, bing. So we're in, we're in closer. It's round four. Yep. It's, let's see what happens, James. You pulled the last omen, so you get I did, so it's, it's for me. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's black. It's black. <sighs> keep, keep on. Keep on. This guy on. has got to kill something eventually. <laughs> so charging here. He's charging there. So I put the black pebble on my loco goss. I make my fat. Oh my days. One. one hit. Uh, yeah. I You're would, actively I would have defended. defended. Yeah. yeah. Because you were not expecting that no. result, sorry. Uh, and I get one. Yeah. So I'm driven back, and it is your doofer. And I take a white marker out of the bag for that to put onto my experienced prippler. So I get a white. You've still got a phalanx. I do still have a phalanx. So do you want to fight use this one or this one? Uh, I have to charge this one, don't I? Because they technically all be equidistant because you haven't moved any of them yet. Yeah. And it's the one in the middle. The one in the middle is near. Yeah, so I, I have think to so. do that. And these other two will be pushed out of the way. Yeah. So that's my phalanx. Is that what you're doing? Um, I, I'm thinking about it because they've already activated. The archers are fairly irrelevant to this game at this point. Mm -hmm. um, see, I will, I will go for them. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're going to charge. It's automatic. It's within the distance. Yeah. But these get pushed back to the minimum amount to make them legal. So there's a lot of end of you know end of movement moving around of other pieces. Yeah. So this unit is going to defend itself. Yeah. Five attack dice. I get. And it's Ooh. five because it's base four with an extra one for your locker it goss. Certainly is. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And you've got Pegasus because you're experienced. That's okay, points for that. And my defense is only two. Okay. So I have five. Now I have three. You have three rolling for damage. Oh, that's a good Four. one. Four. So, ow. Kill another spearman and a point of damage is going to go onto this hoplite. Yeah. Okay. So then we go back to the bag. Back and the then bag. they are driven back in it. Yeah. So no, it was three damage or was it four? It was four. Four it? damage. So I'm driven back two inches Ooh. in front. Now if you'd done six, you do critical damage. Oh, so yeah, yeah, that's go. the thing. And I'd have a go, another go. You'd have another go. So that's white for you. <sighs> They've activated, so take that white and uh, I'll get you another white out of the bag, actually, because you defended, didn't you? Yeah. So what am I going to do with this white one? I need to do something that's meaningful. And that's not really an option to me. Uh, they've activated. That's them. So this one's going to charge, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it is on four five six for my two heroes okay i charge in here I do six that is five five with my defense of four i block none of them that's a lot oh this could be a game changer or it could happen that nothing occurs 
Well, that is quite astonishing, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm driven back. You are. So I think that's one of the reasons, though, that people say that like they don't really like using the fa the phalanx because you lose a lot of killing power. You do, yeah. That, that's the potential of uh, eight dice there or something instead, isn't it? That's ridiculously mm. more. Yeah. But I got to automatically defend despite having... Already acted. Yeah. Yes. Not that anything happened with that. But Right, let's go for the dice. For the, the beans. I'm calling the beans. This is you, isn't it? It is. It's my black activation. So I'm charging. <laughs> You're charging, yes. Um, give me a black one because I'm defending yeah. myself. Whoa. Oh, beans everywhere. Magic beans. I get one shield. Okay. No, three, because Pegasi count defending. Okey So How many do I get? So you get five attack dice, I think. I do. So I get one, two, three, four. Uh, three so one goes through. Damage dice. One damage. No, no, no damage to Pegasus. No damage, no damage to, Pegasus. to Pegasus. So you driven back? Ha ha ha! Another fine mess I've gotten myself into. Right. Tail of the bag for you is black. <sighs> Do oh, have some. No. Um, yeah. Oh, courage test. Courage test. Why do I want to make a courage test? To charge something that isn't the closest. I want to make a courage These test. Are the closest at the moment, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, I that should only be so. an inch away. Okay. Because it was driven it back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make a courage test to see if I can charge those. Okay. Because they only get defense from the front. They do. That yeah. is. Pegasus do work for okay. courage. <laughs> okay, right, so Anna should have rolled five. Right, so I'm gonna charge this one, mm -hmm. not in the front. Okay. Right, then I get my five attacks, which uh, is three. three. I get no defense. So you get no defense. So a third dice as well? You're gonna want that third dice because you got three. Want that third dice. <laughs> Two damage. Two damage. That's not nothing. That's not so nothing. That is a model dead. And what was this white one for? Uh, for you defending earlier. Oh, it should have been a black base. one. Yeah, one that of center base defended earlier, so it did it? Both of them. Yep. Okay, all right. So that's one model down. Um, this unit gets pushed where? <laughs> this way, I guess. I guess so. Maybe. I mean, this this is so. This is a, an area where we we may be pushing the rules outside of their <laughs> expected limits. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, red. Oh. So we have the Huntress Calls. Warriors from both Lokoi. Oh, yeah. Gain plus one attack dice, but lose a defend dice. Nice. That's really nice. Right, you. Punch me. Come on, come, come on. on. Black. He's going to charge. Yeah. Brah. So he is four dice. Mm -hmm. You've got four defense dice. I do have four defense Two. dice. <laughs> Three. Boing. There you go. Go on, get back. Right. Next is for me, and it is white. <sighs> so I have my archers remaining. Oh, I've got my veteran hoplite as well. And this is the closest enemy unit, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Do a charge. Yeah. So my veteran hoplite has three attacks. Uh, he is also medium and within six inches of this fella, so he gets plus one. He is a companion. He is. Is that really six inches? Yeah, okay. That's four. Four. I defend with four, mm -hmm. uh, which is my final doofer. And I stop three, okay. and I draw my chit out of the bag, so I've actively defended. And nothing happens. Uh, I think I've only got my two slingers left in the bag, by the way. <laughs> okay. What have you got, James? I've got my archers, and I've got Lokogos remaining, but I have a red dice. A red Second marker. doom Bean. token. Did you get your... Plus one attack dice for the Hunter's Calls last turn. No, I forgot. Do that now. We'll it's not going to be decisive, no, though, is it? Okay. Flight the Heron. All warriors on the table gain plus one dice to courage rolls. Affects my warriors. All your warriors on the table gain plus one. Right. Affects my warriors. Okay. Your my turn. draw. Black. Uh, that's yours. Is Because that I've used all of mine. Yeah, oh, that's yours. My Lacargos gets a charge. It will yeah. get him eventually. 
This is yeah. a, this is a battle for the ages. So I have five. Well, I don't have an active defense left. <laughs> True. Uh, I get three. I get two. Ooh, I only come, on, one, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Yay! Get oh, back. Darn. Boy. So, so powerful it knocked the moss off the wall. There we Mate, go. it's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is you now. Yeah. White. White. Uh, no, yes, your... yes, yes. Yeah. Slingers. Um. Both units of slingers haven't activated. You didn't injure this guy, did you? I didn't, so I get driven back. So you get driven back. Right. So these can shoot that at minus one. If you like. Yeah, but you're not within ten, so I need to move. Well, I, don't, I can't do anything with any of the other models. You've got this over here as well. Yeah, but that, that, that's not going to eliminate that base no. in the last turn. No, no, no. Right, so they've moved to within close. Okay. They're going to shoot across there. And they get... Two. Two. Yeah. Uh, I'm just checking the Pegasus is minus it on the second shot. It's not a second okay. shot. So that's that. My one defense dice doesn't do anything. So two damage dice. Does two, two damage. damage. Okay, so that's a single model now. Yes! That's only the second model I've eliminated, isn't it? <laughs> it's not been the most lethal game so far. The low lethality. Um, then your draw. Then my draw. Your draw, sir. <sighs> oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, at the end of the game, James, mm -hmm. you have killed three heavy hoplites. And you have killed one heavy hoplite and one medium hoplite. And then that guy. And then the other medium hoplite. And you've also done damage to several of my units. Uh, yeah, you've got a couple wounds here and there as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, social distance still being observed, of course. Thank you Very for much. the game. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, like the video, maybe leave us a comment. Thank you. Game over, man. Game over, man. That was fun. I thought that was... I mean, there's a lot of nuance to the game. We've got to learn how all these tokens... We're not quite slick with the tokens Gosh, and no. where to put the omens <laughs> and so forth. <laughs> This surprised me that it wasn't a bloodbath. Yeah, pretty low lethality. I think it's the number of wounds in all the models. Really the, the model. Well, we've got, we've got, we've both got heavy hoplites, yeah. and we both used the big phalanx. <laughs> yeah. And we both put our characters in the middle, but they couldn't really fit them around. But oh, they punched can't. your character the whole game. Nothing. He just punched spent like the whole five game. five black yeah. things and then we did nothing. That yeah, was and, he was, and he was nearly dead for most of the it game. Was. He just couldn't get that final chip. I mean, sometimes the dice just go like that, don't they? Mm. So, I mean, I definitely want to try this again with maybe some objectives on the table or two very much less evenly balanced forces. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, I'm not sure that this game did need more models. This feels good. <laughs> this is right. This, this, like, this feels like a maximum number of models yeah, to me. Like less would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think you definitely want, you only took the one character. Yeah. Because you didn't realise the other one wasn't. Yeah. You definitely want some choice about where you use the licorice tokens, don't you? Yes. Yes. Because like, when, you, when you drew that, it's like, I have to play this mm -hmm. model. Not that it's bad, but it's actually... It's surprising, it's, it's, it's great heroes. Characters, yeah. Your generals are really good characters. <laughs> they are, yeah. It's like, this is a compulsory character, but it's also your best model in the game. Mm -hmm. And who knows what will be uh, in future ones. So we're definitely going to play this again. Yes, I can completely agree. Um, I'll um, keep going down the Athenian route for now. You're going to go to the Athenian? I am. You're not, you're not getting straight in there, Harryhausen? I would love to do a bit more Ray Harryhausen with this, but no, I think I'll keep on with the Athenians for now. Keep on keeping This is about painting four more models, not yeah. about painting 20 new models. I have seven plans. <laughs> <laughs> seven <laughs> plans. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously these are my models I'm using Carthaginians. Which are also Vitrix, but they're very much a lot of the units back in the Greek style. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get some like naked goals. You yeah. know, to use as the cheap pop lights. Right, okay. They're just, yeah. they're just idiots with spears. Yeah, you're a fully mercenary army, so it all makes sense. Admit it, yeah. And then an elephant. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. We certainly enjoyed the game. Thank you for watching.